So today I'm going to do a real quick short video on this uh, 99 Frontier. This is a four cylinder, uh, what is this, a 2.4 liter inline, two wheel drive. So uh, what happened was it started leaking coolant. I um, just want to see if maybe anybody else had the same issue um, and see if I can share what I have learned and what I did to um, fix this problem. So what happens is uh, it develops a leak somewhere down here and it starts to spill the old coolant out. So what happened is you can see that fitting there. Uh, that fitting is connected directly to the block and that hose that connects to that fitting um, goes directly to the, the lines here that go to the heater core. And you can see it feeds down there that, that way. So what happened is the fitting that was there originally uh, just rotted out and it started to spill. You can see all the, all the rust that uh, leaked out of there was uh, accumulating there from the coolant or water that was coming out. So that rust color is because of it was water was being used. Anyway, I ended up going to the... Uh, what ace hardware store and got a three eighths uh, fitting elbow fitting with a uh, three eighths connector uh, that would that would take that hose size uh, I didn't get the size of the nipple but it essentially has a nipple and a three eighths uh, thread on the uh, on the nipple connector and then three eighths the one that connects to the block there as you can see I used uh, brass so it won't rust out but this is what the old one looked like. And you can see it developed a hole there, rusted out, and another hole there. And also it cracked right there at the seam. Um, it's very, very difficult to get out. Uh, I believe this is a 19 millimeter head, so you might be able to stick a wrench in there. But the trick to do to get it out, uh, because it's in a very tight spot, is you have to take off the starter. Starter's held in by 14 millimeter bolts, one top, one the bottom, very, very tight. What I ended up doing here, because this thing is very low, is I just grabbed it with some uh, channel locks and I bent this upward a little bit so you can stick your hand in there. Very, very tight. Um, the starter does come out, but it goes down here. Comes out through here, it's a very finicky. It'll find its way out on its own actually, it's kind of weird even though it looks like there's no space. Um, but what I ended up doing was that. So I tried looking for it in auto parts store, anywhere, very weird uh, pipe, tube thing. It's, it looks like it would be in a house, uh, like part of a house tubing or something. Uh, so auto parts stores don't have this uh, more than likely probably dealer. It's a weird name It's like a heater connector tube or some crazy crap like that uh, But it goes through the passenger side wheel well and that, that starter has to come out in order for it to for that thing to come out uh, That's the easiest way unless you want to take the intake off which I don't think you do because there's so much going on up there with the intake. There's ground wires, there's brackets that hold it in, there's all kinds of stuff that is going to make it extremely difficult for the top. Though you'll have a lot more room if you did go to the top. Less finicky, uh, but it's doable through the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's what I use, but it's a 3 8 uh, screw pipe. And yeah, that's what I did. If you have the same problem, that's that's how you get to it.